I just can't control my feet. I just can't. I just can't. I just can't control my feet. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a while, I'll explain why at the end of the vid. But first, how cool is this? How cool is it that I can take Luna out on my own now? I bloody love it, it's so cool. Also, I'm really grateful for my bike. I went out for a bike ride the other night and it was so peaceful, there wasn't a soul to be seen anywhere. I was just like boosting through the dress. I was like, this is amazing. I've just got the whole place to myself. It was only until I got to the skate park, I realized it was like past curfew. It's absolutely dead. There is not a soul around. Perhaps because it's past curfew. Oops. So I live in France and there's a curfew at 7 p.m., which is because of COVID, you know, because COVID. So Lou is having a great time in Spain. We chat most days and she's looking after an adorable girl called Aya and they seem to have bonded really well. The house does feel really empty without her in it, plus all her stuff, but she's having fun on her trip and enjoying some space and nature. Oh, and Benji did a bloody catheter. Mate, if you want to hear the full story, check out the podcast. It's really, it's such a banging story because so it's been this ongoing conversation for us for a while he's like he doesn't believe that like a 30 centimeter plastic tube can go down the end of a willy <laughs> he's like there's no way i was like it does and then he actually got to do one and it's a really funny stories so if you want to check it out i highly recommend it it's really funny so luna's been playing with her friend stevie i've been hanging out with my pals playing chess we've been having like little lunch dates uh, i've been working on a song with my friend carolina I even drew a picture of DMX and Prince Philip meeting in heaven because they died on the same day. Thought it was kind of funny. But the funny thing was my mum didn't know who DMX was. Uh, he's, he's a rapper, by the way. And when Benji told me that Prince Philip had died, I was like, is he the pedo? And he was like, nah, that's Andrew. I was like, ah, oh, Philip's the Queen's husband. I was like, all oh, right, cool. <laughs> funny, innit? Anyway, I thought it was funny. And then when I heard that DMX had died, I was like, what? <laughs> so in more mundane news, my the brake on my wheelchair broke, which was a ball ache, but I didn't get the hump because of something called the hindsight window. I'll leave a link in the description for the full explanation, but basically it's where you try and zoom out and ask yourself a question like, why is this a good thing? And I suddenly thought like, it's really annoying, but how is this a good thing? And I thought, well, these shitty breaks that I've got, like, they've broken, like, I only lasted, like, six months, and I know that there's, like, these aluminium ones that are far superior, and I was like, I could order some of them, and also it gave me a chance to get, like, handy and, like, got the Allen keys out. Well, these are and I actually managed to bodge my old brake back together. If it's broken and floppy, like this, you can fix it with an elastic band. And now I've got fully solid aluminium brakes and, and I love them. But the reason I mentioned that was because I ordered them from a company called Spokes in the UK. And if you're in the UK, highly recommend that country. I also emailed them asking if they delivered to France. So I'm assuming they would deliver to the rest of Europe. And I just got some amazing customer service from them. They were super kind in the email and they delivered to France for like 12 pounds or so. Well worth it, so thought I'd give them a shout. Thank you, Spokes. And the other thing I wanted to say was the reason why I didn't upload a video was two reasons. One, because the last video was quite good. It, I had like that 
video of like all a dream, you know. It was all a dream, living carefree in Morzine. To a hospital bed, dosed up on morphine. Things all changed on a random Thursday. Took a wrong turn and it turned into the worst day. Uh, and that was like pretty awesome. It got like loads of views and I got like a, loads of new subscribers. So I thought that in order to upload a video, it had to be like at least as good as that. And, and you know, that sort of perfectionism equals procrastination. I just been procrastinating about making this video for so long. And now finally I've broken the seal and I've started making videos again. <laughs> and also the other reason was because if I'm honest, I was a little bit sad when Lou left because the house just feels really empty and just her stuff is gone and the rooms are like a little bit echoier and yeah, I'm just so grateful I've got Luna because she's so cool, man. We have such a wonderful time together. I just, I don't know, I adore her. But um, ah, yeah, so, so two things. I was like a little bit sad, wasn't feeling very creative. Yeah. And the other reason was because I Thanks thought, I don't know, for some reason that I had to make like the perfect YouTube video, which doesn't exist. So anyway, that was just a little quick vlog update. And I will be back for you with another video soon. See you in that one. Thanks for listening. Bye. Also, one more thing, I wanted to ask you guys an honest question, and I really appreciate some honest feedback. I'm going a bit bald and thin at the front. Shall I just embrace it and shave my head, or shall I hold on? Does it look ridiculous? Give me an honest answer. Let me know in the comments, should I shave my head? Because I will, I'll bloody do it. But yeah, um, does it look, ter it just let me know, does it look terrible? Yes, Fred, it looks terrible, shave your head. Or, mm, you know what, you probably got a few more years, mate. Leave it on there. I uh, appreciate your feedback, so let me know. Thank you.